in Arizona with sex crimes is what's known as DCAC. That stands for Dangerous Crimes Against Children. And that's an allegation that's filed normally if there is an alleged victim is four, who is 14 years of age or younger. Also, they can file it if the victim's under 18, but the person is a school teacher, a doctor, an officer, a priest, things of that nature, where there's a position of trust, step parents, things such as that. If a DCAC is filed and a person is charged with sexual misconduct with a minor, the minimum amount of time on each individual count is 13 years in prison, 20 is the presumptive, 27 is the max. In Arizona, it's day-for-day day prison. There's no time off for good behavior, no commutation of the sentence. If there are two charges, by law, they must be stacked on top of each other. So 13 plus 13, 26 years now becomes the minimum. And it goes up from there. And each count stems from each individual act. For example, if they say there was oral sexual contact and intercourse, that's two separate violations. If oral sexual contact is both ways, that's three violations. That's now 39 years in prison, minimum day for day. We call these life vendors. Second degree murder, the most you can possibly do is 22 years. On our average dangerous crimes against children case, people are facing a minimum of 100 years plus. So you need to have a lawyer who knows what they're doing. Now the defenses to these are numerous. Sexual misconduct with minor and child molestation are the two most commonly made false allegations in the United States. Normally it happens in child custody battles. It'll happen with disgruntled teenagers, usually step teenagers who want to get out of the house or get rid of stepfather. Or it can happen uh, simply because a daycare provider doesn't understand what a three-year-old is telling them. Basically, what you need to look at uh, is whether you can conduct a polygraph or lie detector on the accused individual, and that's the number one way we step in at the beginning of the case and show the police that these are false allegations. They will use what's known as a voice stress analysis. Uh, that's judging you on your truthfulness depending on how you answer questions and your voice inflection, and we know how to prepare people to take one of their tests. Uh, the other thing we look for is what's known as confrontation calls. This is where the government police officer will get the alleged victim who will confront the accused on the telephone. Now, obviously, the defendant doesn't know they're on the phone, and they'll say things such as, hey, I'm really worried you know, that I might be pregnant, and I'm worried because you didn't use a condom. And what will happen is people will say, what are you talking about? Or they'll say, no, the condom was just fine, which obviously presents a problem. But you need to make sure there's not some type of disconnect where they say, hey, I'm worried I might be pregnant, and uh, a boyfriend or somebody else, uh, a step-parent, is thinking that their stepchild, stepdaughter, is talking about their relationship with a different boyfriend who says, well, we'll have to take care of this then, we'll go see a doctor, we'll see what's going on, because it sounds like that person is responsible for the pregnancy. So confrontation calls are very difficult, and you need to look at them. Also, they can be suppressed if they come from out of state into Arizona, depending on which state. And a, a top-notch lawyer will know which state applies and which ones don't. Lastly, um, in regards to LimeWire. LimeWire is an internet service provider where people will swap or file share. And what will happen is you sign a contract that you are allowed to accept any downloads that people provide, even if you're not home, and they can read or accept any of your files. The problem that happens is if you type in the word dog, there is so much child pornography that will pop up and then be shipped over to your computer without your knowledge. The FBI will then show up one to two days later, arrest you, take you away, and you now have to prove that you did not open those computer files. And that's where we bring in our forensic computer expert to go through your files to prove that you may have received files, but you didn't actually open and view these files. Or if you did open and view it, many people will simply realize what it is and hit the delete button. Unfortunately, it's not really deleted, but it shows that you have the state of mind to say, hey, I don't want to watch this, I'm deleting it. I didn't ask for this, I don't want this. The problem with DCAC crimes, sex crimes in Arizona, is they're non-bondable. So that means once you're arrested, even if you have a million dollars in your pocket, you cannot get out of jail until the case is over. 
it doesn't matter. There's one exception. If we can walk in and show that proof is not evident and the presumption of guilt is not great, that is called the Simpson hearing. If we can show that, then we can get you released either on bond or third party released or what they call home arrest. And you need to have a lawyer who knows what they're doing if you're gonna challenge DCAC or sex crimes in Arizona. If you've been charged or you're worried that you're going to be charged, you need to come in and see us at the law offices of David Michael Cantor. I am a certified criminal law specialist and all of my lawyers are either on their way to certification or they are certified. You get a free initial consultation when you come in, so it doesn't cost you a dime, but it will eat up at least 30 minutes of your time. We'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions and explain all of your defenses. So even if you don't hire us, we will give you the information you need to proceed forward, whether you use a different attorney or you use a public defender. But the thing you need to do is make sure that you do contact us and do speak with us because Honestly, I don't believe there's anybody out there who knows more than we do, but I believe there's many attorneys who know far less than